Example three, Marina is the director of the Washington Performance Arts Center. Her employer offers a pension. Marina's employer uses a formula to calculate that pension. Marina is planning on retiring at the end of this year after 25 years of employment. A retiring employee will receive 1.5% of his or her salary for the last five years of the employment multiplied by the number of years worked. So what did that just say? That said for her retirement that she is going to earn 1.5% of, means we're multiplying, of my average salary for the last five years. So this is average salary of last five years. And it says that's multiplied by the number of years worked. So her retirement, we have 1.5%, which needs to change into a decimal. So 1.5% is 0 0.015, because you take the decimal and you move two places to the left. So it was here, it is now here. We need the average of her salary for the last five years. They don't tell us her average, but they tell us what her last five years were. Remember, average is add them all up and divide by the five that you added. So we're gonna add them all up. So there is my last five years. If you add them all up and divide by five, we will find the average salary for the last five years. And that has to get multiplied the number of years worked. It said that she had worked for 25 years. So we're gonna multiply it by 25. So we have our percent. If you add all those numbers up, you get 477,100 multiplied by the 25 years that she worked. So we have 0 0.015 being multiplied by 477,100 divided by five is 95,420. Multiply these three numbers together, you get 35,782.5. Now what does this mean? It was asking you to calculate her pension. Pension is money. So she's going to make 35,782, decimal means dollars, and 50 cents. This is her pension per year until death, because that is how pensions work. She'll make this amount of money every single year until she dies. Now let's check your understanding. The Brown Corporation offers employees a retirement plan based on the following formula. The retiree will get 2% of the average of the final three year salary. So here is his retirement plan. It is based on, it said the 2%, so we get 2% of, means we're multiplying, says the average three years. So this is average salary for the last three years. And it says it's going to be multiplied by, because it says times the number of years in the company. So time number of years worked. So 2% is 0 0.02 as a decimal. We have to multiply that by the average salary for the last five, last three years. It tells us his average salary is A, B, and C. So year one, year two, year three, divided by three, we have the average for the last three. And now we need the number of years worked. It said the employee worked at DeBrown for D years. So here's our D for how many years he worked. It wants us to write the algebraic expression for his yearly pension. So we have a fraction be multiplied to 0 0.02 multiplied to D. So we have 0 0.02D be multiplied to this fraction. And this is his annual pension.